Hi guys, welcome to the Kirsten's channel. Um, please check out some of our other content. We have things from fixing cars to ASMRs. We have something for everybody. But today I'm going to speak about how I passed my MLS BOC test by ASAP. Um, currently, I was MLT. I did it online and I became um, MLS. I'm going to give you some steps that if you do it, I know you will pass your test. If you already work inside of a medical lab, that's a big jump already because some of the tests on there, some of the questions on the test are basically just ruling it out common sense. And if you do it on a daily, daily basis, you have a big advantage already over everyone else. Um, what I study, I use the BOC study book guide. I started using that, but going through pages was a little bit sickening and irritating. So I went online and I bought the interactive um, ASAP practice test, which is basically this book, but it's online inside of digital form. It's a lot easier for me, I found. And my favorite was the LSU clinical um, bottom line approach book. Um, and also I took plenty of notes, plenty of notes. Um, I use Media Lab to study and take practice exams. I found that Media Lab was harder than the ASAP practice test online. Um, and I, but I did like Media Lab, though it was harder. I liked it more because it gave in-depth explanations of every question that you got right or wrong. Like if A through um, D, it gave an explanation for each one. And I found that very helpful to know why the rest couldn't be right because it helped you to figure out why. Maybe in the future on a test, it might be right. Um, and I also bought um, the uh, interactive lectures on the BLC, I mean ASAP. Um, I found that helpful because I was able to listen to like refreshers and lectures on every subject. I listened to chemistry and micro only because those were my two weakest areas. So. I found that listening to those from the website was helpful. Um, I tried to study a little bit here and there, though that didn't work. But as it got closer to my test, I really buckled down. My goal was to give the big major four, which is chemistry, micro, blood bank, and hematology a week at least. But though I didn't do that, that was my goal. Um, because if you at least pass the... Um, Big four with the high score, you can basically pass your test like that. Um, so, so when I was getting closer and closer to the exam, I took my exam on Monday. Um, that Friday, I really started studying harder. Saturday and Sunday, I literally stayed inside and studied all day, except for a few times I had a few brain breaks. Now, went right with my husband and his uh, El Camino that he loves. Um, and then. Something that a lot of people might not know if you go to the website, it's 15 pages, but they give you a breakdown of the scores of the percentage of each area. And a very, very cool thing, they give you a um, further breakdown if you read it. So it tells you what to study and what to prepare for the test. So it's a lot. But the very best thing of all, and I advise you to look at it and do, is to look at the reference ranges. The last two sheets are reference ranges, like the reference range for sodium, the reference range for potassium, hemoglobin indices. They want you to learn those reference ranges because there will be questions on the test pertaining to them, but they won't give you a reference range. So it's almost like a little cheat sheet in a way with some questions. Um, the thing that I found the most, most helpful to pass the test is this book. I swear about this book. Go in this book, and I want you to, anything that says, remember me with the little elephant, or that says, test alert, write it down. Go over it, at least. And if you don't know something about it, write it down. When I didn't know something, I would then go to YouTube or Google it to find out more information about it. Visually, I could see it, and sometimes that stuck in better. Either I'll write it down inside my little notebook. But I find that most helpful. Seriously, go get this book. You can get it off Amazon. Anything that has a little elephant in it, 
like right there, the little elephant. Remember it. Anything that has the little test alerts, remember it. If you don't know something, look it up. I guarantee you, if you do that, you will pass your exam. When you take your exam, come back and tell me because I told you so. And comment, like, subscribe, and please check out our other videos. Thanks.